Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Just starting to feel better. And so I get Killian a bath, I clean the house. I took my bedding out and burned it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually thought about that, but I did put it in the wash with a little bit of that Lysol sanitizing stuff. And since I had so much time, like downtime to lay around because I felt like absolute garbage. Um, by the way, is it okay to eat an entire package of cough drops in one day? I'm asking for a friend. I've been drinking this like zinc and vitamin C stuff all day. When I was laying around, I started looking at haircuts <laughs> and hair color. I'm not gonna color, I'm gonna hold out as long as possible, but I don't, I have a lot more gray than I thought I did. And I think it's because I didn't, I've never let it grow out before. So I didn't realize like how much there actually was. And now that we're like, two months in, almost three months in. I'm like, huh, <laughs> eating the salt and pepper. So I was looking at haircuts, back squirrel, back on subject. And I wanted to redo my bob. And I know I'm a little fat and chunky right now, so I don't know how it'll look on that piece shape. I like it better when I'm skinny. A little more chiseled chin there. But um, you know, it is what it is. And so I think I'm gonna cut her. But first thing, I was trying to decide, let me get my mirror. I was trying to decide whether, what I wanted to do about the undercut. Did I want to recut it or what I want to do with it? Um, my daughter hates it. In fact, she um, hates when I wear my hair up now. She complains about it all the time, but I think I just need to do me and she can do her. I don't tell her how to do her hair or whatnot, so. Uh, sorry, boo, I love you, but mommy got to do her, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna recut that. I did like it, and I'm going through that change of life where you get, I get really hot a lot. <laughs> so it's nice to have that um, back there, not to have all that hair on my neck. Even when I pull my hair up, it's like not all that bulk back there. So I can't remember what blade I used last time. Um, but I got a three blade on there and we'll see where that leaves us. I might end up putting a number two on. This is going to be like my little barrier. So that I don't chop off all my hair that I don't want to chop off. Let's see. Line it up here. Are we okay guys? I need, a, I need another set of eyes. The first time I did this, she actually helped me. So I'm surprised she's complaining so much about it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I had to look in my like three-way mirror so I could kind of see what I was doing. I really don't think it mattered anyway because it's really bad. <laughs> don't try this at home, kids. I apologize, you guys can't see, but it's impossible to put the setup I have to film and do it. I'll give you a peek of what it's looking like. Um, So this side definitely needs a little more work and I'm gonna go in with like this straight end and try to clean up the edges a little bit. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm gonna go in and try to do um, a little bit of a shorter bob on it. I'm like secretly praying when I pull this ponytail down that I didn't actually like clip half these hairs in her hair and like the half underneath my ponytail falls out. Let's see. No. <laughs> I, it would not have surprised me though. All right, this is what she looks like right now. This is how long she is. Let me step back. Um, I just want to cut her. I want to get all this dead off of here. 
and make it look see i did have it i don't know if i'll still do this next time but i did like an asymmetrical lob i might just do it all one length this time and <laughs> i had a moment where i cut bangs just a little bit and i'm glad I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Next time I need to just eat tacos when I'm depressed. Um, but my hair is just greasy because I've been sick, so I literally haven't done anything um, with it. I am gonna do a rough cut, jump in the shower, and then um, finish it up when I get out. I got my little bands on. I'm gonna section my hair, um, and then we'll start cutting. I didn't want to take a lot off the back, so um, that's where we are with that. I'm just going to cut that little piece off there. Let me see if you can see them. I'm going to pull out my shears. I need someone to hold a mirror for me. Will you guys hold the mirror for me? I can't really show you what I'm doing. I'm cutting below the rubber band. And I don't want to pull it to the side because then I'll get like, I will get a, it'll be like crooked. Okay. So I'm trying to feel, hold on. Can you guys see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you? You? Can you see? Don't call. Okay, so this is the rough cut. Let me take the back out. Watch it be so short. <laughs> Alright, so this is the rough cut. As you can see, there's some pieces that need fixed. Um, it's not perfect. But I'm going to hop in the shower and then I'm going to get out and... Um, I'll fix all those little pointy pieces that aren't lined up. But so far, I'm, I can't be. I have you with it in my round little Dutch boy face. Now I'm fresh, dressed like a million bucks. Now I'm going to go in and fix all the little damage that I did. So I noticed in the back, there's like a place where it like, like U-shaped. So I'm going to try to fix that without taking any length off. I don't know if you noticed that on this side and it's the way I had it sectioned off. So I'm gonna try to even that up by just cutting off those little triangles there. The nice thing about doing it uh, a little asymmetrical is that you don't have to line them up perfectly. I did a little bit more um, symmetrical this time. See those little triangles I need to cut off there? That's what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and trim them up a little bit.
and I just keep going through and fixing it as I go. Sometimes it gets shorter and shorter and shorter and sometimes I get it right. But I've lived long enough and had enough shit in my life happen that's so terrible that my hair is not as important to me as it is to some people. It's just hair. It grows back. Do I purposely want to go around and cutting it to where I look like an idiot? No, I don't. I mean, I never intentionally do that. But to me, it's not the end of the world if it's not how I want it. Because you know what? Nine times out of ten, it's going to end up in a bun anyway. And this length of hair, especially with the undercut, I can still pull it back and clip in my fake ponytail. This is Stephanie. I can still clip her in. And then also, I, I guarantee you if I pull my hair up in a claw clip like this and just walk around, my family would only notice that I reshaped the undercut. Nobody even pays attention. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna dry it and um, show you what it looks like and then I'll do a style maybe and show you what that looks like too. Okay, so here she is, the finished blowout. Written and illustrated by Anna Dooney. What do you think? Is she perfect? No. Are my lines at least straight? Also no. Do I care? Also no. Um, I feel like it's good enough. It feels so good, you guys. It feels so much better. This hair growth journey. I'm genuinely just happy that I can run my fingers through it without it coming out in clumps and feeling like sandpaper. I feel like it looks so much healthier than it did even a few months ago and I'm getting all the dead off. She's still able to be pulled back and I can do some cute styles with her. So I want to try, let me try a part. Smusha, smusha, <clears throat> smash, smash, smash. Little E tries lifting up some junk, junk, junk. I might need to do a little touch up here and there, but you know, what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? Two weeks, my friend, two weeks. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.